Hi, welcome to Provo in Casa. My name is Johnny. I am your English teacher. English has become a very common language throughout the world. Nowadays, it's very important for many purposes, for example, getting a job, studying, traveling, doing business, etc. On our previous video, we'll learn how to identify oneself to others. Let's see how we can apply this knowledge this time using personal information. In what situations do we need to provide personal information? Well, let's think. At school. Well, at school, you give your name, your address, preferences. At a job interview. For example, the key question is, what's your name? Or what's your email address? Where are you from? At the bank, what's your ID number is a very important question. What's your phone number? Where do you live? At the hotel, well, giving your full name, your nationality, preferences. That's very important information. At the hospital, well, your age, your civil status, your occupation. Meeting someone for the first time, that's another situation. The questions are, are you single or married? What's your name? What's your phone number? Texting a message on the phone is another situation. Probably you will give your birth date, preferences, occupation. In an email, there are very important questions to ask or respond. For example, what do you do? What do you like to do in your free time? When is your birthday? Well, these are some situations in which we provide personal information. Let's watch an example of what personal information we are supposed to provide in every situation I just mentioned. At school. Luis, I will call you for a student together on Tuesday. What's your phone number? Sure, my phone number is 1234567 at a job interview. Welcome to TI Company. What's your name? My name is Diego Vargas. It's a pleasure to meet you. At the bank. Edgar, for providing you a new account, first, I need some personal information, please. What's your ID number? Sure, my ID number is one or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At the hotel. Welcome to the hotel. Where are you from? Thanks, I'm from Costa Rica. At the hospital. How old are you, Mr. Rodriguez? I am 43 years old. Meeting someone for the first time. Nice to meet you, Andrea. Are you single or married? Nice to meet you too, Roberto. I'm single. Texting a message on the phone. Hi, Sylvie. I found the sweater you lost at school. I want to give it back to you. Where do you live? Thank you so much, Fernando. I live in Cartago, next to the church. In an email. Hi, Lau. I want to give you a big surprise. When is your birthday? On March 22nd. I love it. Thanks. Can't wait. If you are about to get a job, chances are that you will have to provide your personal data to fill out an application form or to submit your resume. In the following case, you will see a guy doing this. We'll start with his full name, Manuel Ramirez Cespedes. Then comes his address, Santo Domingo Heredia. Next, his phone number, 
7-6-8-9-14. Followed by his ID number, 123456. It is very likely that the company will require his birth date and his age. In Daniel's case, his birth date is on the 20th of July of 1990, so his age will be 22 years old. In regards to his nationality, Daniel will write Costa Rican, and in civil status line, he will say just single. His occupation, well, Daniel will probably say currently unemployed. To provide information about his academic background, Daniel will probably write, I majored in civil engineer. And finally, as far as his preferences are concerned, he will put, I like to read fiction books and I like to learn new languages. Well, as you see, there are many situations in which personal information is a must. I hope you enjoy the class this time. Keep on watching more Prof and Casa videos. Take care and bye-bye.